Hello friends, welcome back to another episode. We'll just get right into this. Fun fact that I figured out last time, when you have a debuff on, you are constantly in battle, which means you cannot do emotes, which explains the lack of a wave at the end of the last video. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna this debuff's gonna last a while. But it's a nice little animation, so we'll just run with it. Right now we're gonna go check out Guard 7. It's a quest given to us by General Summer. And this quest line is something I'm more familiar with because this quest line has been here since the beginning. So we're gonna run over here and talk to Guard 7. He will have two quests for us. And we're going to grab them both because I'm pretty sure they ha are the same. Yep. So it looks like I'll be killing venomous ghouls for both quests. So I got a teleport stone, which is nice. Can use those to teleport to any unlocked portal in Perfect World. Oh, my new sword needs 14 strength, so what we're going to do put 7 into strength and just dump everything else into magic. Equip that, and it should increase our magic attack substantially just reorganizing my inventory real quick make sure I don't accidentally sell anything um, top left of that inventory is a transformation card we I can't remember what quest we got it at uh, maybe if you folks know you just want to leave it in the comments um, but it I don't I'm not gonna use it uh, when it first came out, I used it a bunch because it does turn you into the Snow Grind Fox. Um, but then you lose all your skills. Can't use any of them. And as a cleric, you kind of need all your skills. So we're just going to leave that in our inventory until I remember to sell it. And continue on questing. Looks like we've completed both of the quests at the same time, so let's record. Return back to guard seven. It's like a high level character. High level Venomancer. Let's try that again. There we go. It's like a Pocketheri. And Mind Scout. Let's hit Tang first. Because he's in town. Mine Scout is in the mines, which is quite a while away. I have a feeling I'm going to be running around a lot this episode. But, questing is questing. Lots and lots of running. Later on, we will be able to run instances a lot more, a lot more frequently. No luck on the faction yet, though. Hopefully soon. Okay, where is Guard Chin? He's right next to him. So, we're going to uh, pretend we didn't see that. And it looks like the Yin Xing Barbarian is a boss, so I'm going to leave him till later. Claim that reward. And it did give me 200 reputation. So, click through this real quick, and I got stuck. We're going to pretend we also didn't see that one. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, that reputation is stacking for 1456 which I believe is more than enough to wear the rank one 
armor that we get at level 30. But to get there, we need to quest a whole lot more. Um, it is probably good to note that the next goal we're shooting for is probably level 29. 29 is the next instance. From what I remember, I don't believe there is a quest line for that instance until you hit level 40, which is when you hit your bounty hunter quests, which is a daily quest that you get to run a particular instance in your level range. And when you're level 40, it's going to be that level 29 instance. A whole bunch of gibberish if you haven't played this game before. So just, uh, we'll get there, I promise. Right now, we'll just focus on questing. Because luckily, grinding in this game is almost non existent. So we'll just run through these quests. Right now, we're killing Treeline Wolfkin and Heartless Wolves. Are easy when you are a magic character. Okay, one more tree line. Is there anything closer? I gotta run. Yeah, we'll kill this one. Two shot this guy. Okay. Tag me, so I'm just gonna use that uh, that health potion real quick. Pop one of those, cause why not? Return it to the mine scout. Level up. One more level closer. Next up is our tecton tectonic rhino drake. These guys kind of, these guys are kind of a pain because I, they do stun you if you don't kill them fast enough. So let's see if I can hit these guys before they hit the stun off. So far so good. I'm noticing that these monster levels are getting a little higher than my level. Hopefully that's not a problem. But only one way to find out. One more. Perfect. It's like he was waiting for me. Turn this in. So far, so good. A little bit of a delay there. Okay. The apprentices and the enchanters are going to be in this direction. Don't even have to auto path that one. Not gonna lie, I kind of miss my Blade Master in these situations. Questing's always a little easier when uh, your character animations are a little better than a wannabe archer. Shooting my magic arrows. These quests are a lot easier when these when these monsters do not auto aggro you. 
I'm not sure when they made the switch over, but these, this entire area used to be auto aggro. So you're trying to kill these and you have your werewolf spearmen running after you. You kill those and you got your quill hogs, which have a range attack, attack you from afar. You try to kill him. Then you got your fire goths. Uh, blaming you. What you haven't seen so far, I guess you won't this episode, but the pyrogoths, I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. I'm just telling you how I pronounce it. Don't get mad. Um, but their attack is a damage over time, DOT, flame. And if it stacks, it could get dicey real quick. Anywho, I think that will do it for today's episode, guys. It was a lot of running. It's probably going to be a lot of running in the future. But just hang with me till we get to those high levels. And until next time, have a good one.